So, you've had an epic trip out to your favourite muddy four-wheel drive routes and it's time for a clean-up of your adventure vehicle. In this video, we'll run through some of the tricks that we've picked up over the years to speed up the process and protect your vehicle with our tailor-made four-wheel drive products. Before heading off-road, you'll want to ensure that your undercarriage is protected from the harsh elements found out in the bush. Our protective Under Armour spray was designed with this in mind. It gives real corrosion protection and a super hydrophobic finish on all of your underbody surfaces for easier cleaning after your trip. The application is super easy. On a dry and totally clean surface, liberally apply the product ensuring full coverage on all surfaces that you want protected. Under Armour then needs to dwell for a minimum of 45 minutes but it can be longer just depending on the temperature and the humidity in your area. Once the dwell time is finished, thoroughly rinse it off all the applied areas with a strong stream of water from your hose or pressure washer and then wait for at least 24 hours before heading off road. Under Armour will provide two to three months of real world protection for your car's underbody and should be reapplied when you notice the beading start to drop off. For a more detailed and nuanced application procedure and video, check out our Under Armour guide and video on our website. On the way back from your dirty weekend, any river crossing on your route can serve as an effective pre-clean for your undercarriage, but keep in mind that this won't always be the case. Park your vehicle on some flat ground and use some ramps if needed to help you get better access under your four-wheel drive. Remove the bash plate and then give it a thorough clean. If you have a lot of heavy chunks of mud, you'll want to blast these off with the pressure washer or a hose first. Now it's time to clean the inside of the chassis rails as build up inside them can create wet spots which can promote and accelerate rust and corrosion. Take the connector end off your hose pipe so you have a steady, even stream of water. Find the furthest back hole in the chassis rail and poke the hose end through, pushing it in as far as the hose can go. Observe under the vehicle as the mud and dust begins to flow out from the drain holes further down the car. Wait until this flow becomes clear water and then adjust the hose around, pulling it in and out until the water runs clear, then repeat the process on the other side. Now it's time to focus on the rest of the underbody. For easy cleaning, grab your snowblow cannon and add 900ml of water and 100ml of mega snow job, then shake it to mix the solution before coating every area of the underside of the car. Adjust the spread for each different area and pay extra attention to any heavier dirt buildup. Mega snow job will break down mud and minerals and loosen heavier dirt and grime with its higher pH formula. Set aside the leftover a mega snow job and allow a few minutes for it to dwell. Begin rinsing off with either a pressure washer or a hose sprayer on the jet setting. Be thorough and rinse every potential location that mud could be hiding. For stubborn mud, grease and stained underbody areas, Down and Dirty's advanced non-caustic formula was purpose built for these kinds of tough jobs. Its heavy duty cleaning power and advanced chelating agents effortlessly shift red dirt and heavier grime all around your four wheel drive. Pair this with our brushes for an even easier clean, particularly in and around wheel arch wells and suspension parts. Now with the underbody all clean, it's best to detail the engine bay next to avoid water drying on the rest of the paintwork. Grab your down and dirty, for some brushes, a little chubby brush, a grey twisted little sucker and a small portable blower if you have one. Make sure the engine and any rubber hoses are cool to touch and then begin rinsing down the engine bay. Most modern engine bays are generally very well sealed, but some older four drives may need covering of distributors, alternators and spark plugs as you don't want water in any these areas. Spray down and dirty directly onto the dirty areas of the engine bay and then immediately agitate with your brush of choice. To avoid any dirt or mud drying back onto the engine bay, rinse thoroughly with low pressure from the hose, avoiding the same areas as before, then blow any remaining water out of the nooks and crannies with the blower before drying the rest of the engine bay down with a clean and dry twisted little sucker cloth. With the engine bay all done, it's time to move on to the exterior, starting with the wheels. If they're heavily caked in mud, give them a quick rinse to remove the majority of this first to avoid rubbing it in and causing any scratches. Prepare a separate bucket for washing your wheels, three quarters fill it with water and add a great barrier thingy to stop the heavier grit coming back up from the bottom of the bucket. Add a cap full of wash to your wheels bucket to use with your brushes. Our Dirty Times wash is great for mineral removal and is the best solution for heavier dirt and grime for an all round thorough clean after those dirty off-road adventures. We find a combination of wheel brushes is the most effective way to clean wheels as they are all very different. The Down and Dirty formula is excellent at breaking down and dissolving thick mud, red dirt and tyre browning commonly found on four wheel drive wheels all while leaving a barrier against corrosion. It's easy to use, simply mist the Down and Dirty evenly across the entire wheel and tyre making sure to angle the spray to ensure full coverage around the wheel face. It's best to scrub the tyres down at this point and for that job our little stiffy brush is the perfect combination of chemically resistant stiff bristles and an ergonomic 45 degree handle for a fast an easy clean of this usually difficult area. Now rinse the wheel and tyre thoroughly with a strong jet of water. If you have open spoke wheels, the flathead brush is excellent for cleaning the inner barrels of the wheels. The Little Chubby is a very pleasurable 9 inch brush for all wheel faces and flatter open areas, 
with feathered tip long bristles for good product lather and faster cleaning of larger surfaces. Our nuts and guts from the foursome brush set allows for cleaning of tight or intricate areas around wheel nuts, inner seams or lips, and into tight corners. You'll want to dip the brushes into your wheels bucket to soak up a good helping of suds and then start cleaning the wheel. Rinse your brushes often in the bucket to avoid spreading any dirt around. After the wheels have been scrubbed, give them a thorough rinse down, paying extra attention to the brake drum or disc in the inner barrel of the wheel to dislodge any mud or sand that might be still hiding in there. Wet dreams can be applied now to the wheels to add super hydrophobic protection, which will make them easier clean the next time around. Apply an even mist across the wheel face and then immediately and thoroughly rinse off to activate the super hydrophobic behaviour. After doing the wheels, it's best to clean your door jams before snow foaming to avoid any water drying on the paint. Open all four doors and thoroughly rinse each door jam, starting at the top using the open end of the hose to avoid any excessive overspray into the car. Grab down and dirty and a brush from our foursome brush set, then liberally spray the down and dirty onto the section you're cleaning and then agitate with your chosen brush to create a thick lather that lifts out dirt. Pay particular attention to seams, rubber seals, plastic parts and door skin drain holes as dirt loves to hide deep in these spots and have a bucket filled with fresh water handy to rinse the brush out in often. Thoroughly rinse each section before it dries. For four wheel drives that are heavily caked in mud, you want to pre-rinse first with your pressure washer or hose to remove as much of this thicker mud as possible and then move on to the pre-wash foam. Grab your snow blow cannon with the remaining mega snow job in it and starting at the back of your vehicle, begin foaming in a methodical overlapping motion to ensure even and thorough coverage. The mega snow job softens and loosens the heavier dirt that just rinsing alone doesn't touch and it's great at getting into all the nooks and crannies throughout the vehicle where grime might be hiding with a heavy dose of corrosion inhibitors in there as well. After a few minutes of dwell time, begin thoroughly rinsing it off, starting at the roof and making your way down the car in a methodical overlapping motion. The mega snow job will have softened and loosened a lot of the dirt and grime. As you're rinsing, you may notice mud, sand and grime coming out of the seals and seams and any other places that it really likes to hide in. So make sure that you take your time here and rinse these areas extremely well until they run clear to avoid the dirt scratching your paint later. This pre-wash will remove the majority of the heavier dirt and mud, ready for a safe hand wash step to remove the remaining dirt. Our Dirty Times wash was custom formulated to easily dissolve red dirt, salt and minerals, giving fantastic protection against corrosion and epic levels of lubrication and suds for a safer clean. With your buckets ready and the Great Barrier thingies in them, fill both buckets three quarters full of water and then add a cap full of Dirty Times wash into the bucket and give the solution a blast with the pressure washer to froth the mixture up and give a nice head of suds. Rinse the wash pillow out in the rinse bucket water first, then dip it into the wash water bucket to fill it with suds. Wash the car from the top to the bottom, making sure you don't drag grime from the dirtier lower areas back up to the paint. Side steps can make it easier to reach the roof if you need like we've done in our video here, otherwise a small safety step or step ladder might also be helpful. Always rinse your wash tool in the rinse water bucket after each section. The unique lower pH for strong mineral removal of the Dirty Times wash pairs it perfectly with the higher pH of the Mega Snow Job for mud and grime removal, giving an all-round thorough clean. Both of these washers are safe for ceramic coatings and ceramic sealants, but they can affect some older waxes. We find the wash pillow the absolute best wash tool for bigger vehicles as it holds a lot of suds and with its larger surface area, it makes short work of those larger areas. The foursome brushes can be very handy for getting into areas around badges, emblems, etc. And this step should always be done during the hand wash for safety, as most of the scratch causing dirt and grime has already been removed by the pre-wash. If you have tighter areas like roof racks, the low profile shagamatastic wash mitt makes this task much easier and faster. Dirty Times wash is built to be very forgiving in the sun. So if it does dry out, it can simply be rinsed off with a gentle stream of water. Rinse the entire car with the hose and flush out any remaining wash from the crevices around the car. Adding or topping up any protection is easily done now with our Happy Ending Super Hydrophobic Finishing Foam. Simply add 900ml of water into a Happy Ending Cannon Bottle, then add 100ml of the Happy Ending before giving it a quick shake to mix the product well. Then slowly work around the entire vehicle until the car is covered, avoiding the windscreen where possible. Immediately pressure wash off thoroughly from where you started to activate the bead porn. It adds a real layer of protection that lasts 2-3 to three months for easier cleanup after trips. The Twisted Mother Sucker was designed for fast and easy drying of supersized vehicles. Drape it over your arm with the bulk of the towel hanging down and then spray four to six sprays of Bosco straight into the towel as a drying aid that helps lubricate and leave a spot free finish. This huge 90 by 60 centimeter mega absorbent towel is perfect for bigger four wheel drives and the dedicated hand pockets allow for easy control and are handy for getting into any tight crevices, weather shields, roof racks, etc. The Twisted Little Suckers are the perfect sized smaller drying towel for those 
intricate areas around door jams and wheels, and they use the same high quality 800 GSM twist pole loop material as the twisted mother sucker. Use a portable blower to blast any remaining water from hidden areas around the vehicle for a perfect finish. With everything clean and dry, we can finish off the exterior with the tires using sweet rubber. Sweet rubber is best applied with our all sorts applicator, which is ideal for larger sidewalls and chunkier treads, and it will leave a rich and dark satin finish that repels mud and dust while you're out in the bush, making for a much easier clean afterwards. Wipe any excess product from the wheels or white walls with a grey twisted little soccer cloth and enjoy the fresh look of a clean four wheel drive before moving on to the interior. If you've been on an extended off-road trip, it's likely that the interior is just as dirty as the exterior. You'll want to remove any car seats and floor mats to give yourself better access to the interior. Start off with a thorough vacuum using a combination of the crevice tool for general carpet and nook and cranny cleaning, and a brush tool for wider areas, mats and seats, etc. If you have rubber or plastic floor mats, take them out of the car and place them on the ground. Give them a rinse first to remove any heavier dirt and mud, then spray some down and dirty onto the mats and use a little chubby brush to agitate and get a good lather to clean the surface. Rinse thoroughly and then put them aside and allow them to dry. Heavy mud and dirt on seat and door cards can be taken care of with our pH neutral orange agent which is a safe first step for deep cleaning vinyl and leather interiors and then lighter grime or fingerprints can be removed with our interior specific products. Vinyl care for plastics and then leather love and leather guard for any leather seats which are likely a copper hiding. For your touch screens our quick and easy interior detail of Farkoff is excellent for removing fingerprint marks and leaving a clean and anti-static finish. For a truly epic off-road adventure, you will need to get bogged at least once, which usually requires the use of some recovery gear. Being dragged through muddy puddles will definitely get them dirty, but fortunately, Down and Dirty is amazing for cleaning red dirt and mud from your recovery gear, and it's also snatch strap safe. Lay them out flat and give them a good rinse. Apply Down and Dirty and then give them a good scrub with a brush like a little chubby brush or Big Boy Brett from the Force and Brush set. Then thoroughly rinse it all off and allow it to dry. We hope this guide has helped you restore your pride and joy back to top shape, ready for your next outdoor adventure. If you have any questions, please shoot us an email at info at bowdenzone.com.au. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram or TikTok or simply give us a call on 1800 351 308. Thanks for watching.